Hello and welcome to another GNU Cash Quick Start tutorial. I'm Laura from the BusyBeePost.com and in today's tutorial I will be talking about how to add and apply sales tax to the invoices you create in GNU Cash. If you like my tutorials and find them helpful please subscribe and don't forget to give a thumbs up. Let's begin. In the previous tutorial, we created a very basic invoice which didn't include sales tax. In this tutorial, I will show you how to set up and apply sales tax to the taxable invoices you create in GNU Cash. Normally, once the sales tax is collected from the customer, it becomes a liability for the business owner because it is owed to the government. It is entirely up to you how you handle sales tax for your business. If you're not sure, you can speak with your accountant. But since sales tax is normally a liability payable to your government authority, in this tutorial, I will show you how to set up sales tax as a liability so that the sales tax payable account will keep track of the sales tax collected from the customers. Let's begin. The first step is to set up the sales tax liability account that will be used to keep track of the sales tax you collect. Begin by highlighting the liabilities category account by clicking on the name, then select new account on the toolbar. When the dialog box opens, Enter a name for your sales tax and a description. I will simply enter sales tax. Then select OK. Now you should see the sub account you just created listed under the liabilities account. Here I see the sales tax sub account I created. Next we need to set up the sales tax table which we will use to specify the amount we are required to collect from the customer by selecting business on the menu bar and then sales tax table. When the dialog box opens select the new tab. Enter a name for the sales tax table. If your state requires you to collect a dollar amount from your taxable customers, select the value option by clicking on the drop down arrow and enter the dollar amount into the text box. If you're required to collect from your customers a percentage on behalf of your state, then select percentage and enter the percentage into the text box provided. In this example, the business owner is required to collect 6% sales tax from his customers. I will enter the number 6 in the text box. Nothing else is required here other than the number. Next, scroll down and select the category, then the account you want to use to track the sales tax. Here is where I will select the sub account I created under the liabilities account to track my sales tax. And select OK to finish up. On the tax table dialog box that appears, you should see on the left hand side the name of the sales tax table you created and on the right hand side the category account and the name of the sub account you selected to track the sales tax. If you need to create any additional sales tax tables, you can select the new tab to create any additional sales tax tables you need. For now, I will simply select close to close out. Here I have an example of an invoice I just created. Here you can see no sales tax has been applied to the invoice, but now that I have a sales tax table I created, I can apply sales tax. But first I need to confirm 
the invoice is taxable by clicking inside the taxable column box to add a check mark to indicate it is taxable. And in the next column, it asks, is tax included? I simply leave it blank to indicate it is not included. And in the tax table column, I click inside the text box and when the drop down arrow appears, I click on it and select the sales tax table I created. And here you see the sales tax has been added to the invoice. The only problem with this setup is that each time you create a new invoice, you have to manually select the sales tax options. Another option you have is to set up the sales tax table as the default sales tax table. This way, the sales tax table will be automatically displayed each time you start a new invoice. And if you're not required to collect tax on a particular invoice, you can easily deselect that option. To set up the sales tax table as the default sales tax table, select File from the menu bar and then Properties. And when the Book Options window opens, select the business tab then scroll down to default customer tax table and select the sales tax table you want to use as a default sales tax table then select OK to save the changes and close out now each time you start a new invoice, the taxable column will be displayed by default and the sales tax table will display automatically as you see here. And if you need to remove the sales tax option, maybe because you don't want to apply sales tax to a particular invoice, you can do that by simply clicking on the check mark in the taxable column to remove the check mark and then the sales tax table will disappear. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.